Assalamualaikum and welcome to our video everyone Our team will present about National Bukit Jalil Stadium Okay, firstly I'm going to introduce with my team members My name is Maria Adila binti Muhammad Razwan And next, Haris Rafiuddin bin Abu Kaha Cik Ami Akil, Dia Hasif bin Azmi And Izzati Nadira binti Shah Nizam with everyone from SR 1131B. The development of stadium. Firstly, the color of the audience scene has been replaced with other colors to be more attractive. From red, blue, yellow to yellow, white and gray. National Bukit Jalil Stadium have been closed since June 2015 for some renovation which cost almost 1 billion. The seating is provided as much as 87,000. The yellow color team of Harima Malaya. So it will make Malaysia proud of them. Assalamualaikum and good morning. Bukit Jalil National Stadium has faced two phases of renovation and upgrading. The first phase has been narrated by Ms. Maria Adila and I will tell you what happened to the for the second phase. After its completion, Sea Games and Asian Games in 2017, which was held at the Stadium Bukit Jalil Stadium, Bukit Jalil Stadium was once again improved with various world-class infrastructure and facilities to achieve Bukit Jalil Stadium SKL Sport as fully integrated sports hub in 2018. The benefit, of the benefit of infrastructure added to the Bukit Jalil will provide more facilities that can be used by national athletes in particular and the general, pub and general public when they want to do a training and leisure, and leisure sessions. For example, the infrastructure that has been added to the Bukit Jalil Stadium is that, that there are high performance training facilities, rehabilitation, re rehabilitation cent science center for the use of the National Athletes Malaysia. Youth park and public facilities provided such as skate park and track for jog in the, in the evening with family and it's suitable for um, leisure session with um, family and friends. Uh, this is photo that you can uh, you can see. Next, Bukit Jalil Stadium was once has also undergone a cow grass upgrade to Zion Zosia grass. When the field sur when the field surface previously, it was a major issue, especially especially when matches involving national teams as well as domestic league finals. Perbadanan Stadium Malaysia PSM has estimated the cost of upgrading the Zion Zosia grass field is RM10 million ringgit Malaysia. Zion Zosia type grass is used in the new Johor Darul Ta'zim JDT Stadium. The third and the, the Sultan Ibrahim Stadium, and besides that, being used in the Singapore National Stadium and several stadium in Thailand, um, this effort is uh, to to make upgrade and make um, Stadium National Bukit Jalil is the um, can compete with the any stadium at international international stadium. Thank you. Stadium in the world, uh, probably number seven 
according to the rank. So, uh, but it's remain the big, it's remain the biggest stadium in this country, Malaysia. So, past, uh, past a few years, there we uh, there has been played uh, some of the big games at there. One of the big games is the, of course, the Commonwealth game. Uh, everyone remember on the year 1998, Commonwealth game 1998, Malaysia lost the game. And it's one of the greatest achievements that this country has ever did, and probably in the Southeast Asian region. Because, uh, you know, because everyone knows, the Commonwealth game is one of the biggest games after Olympic Games. So, other than that, Malaysia also hosts Sea Games. And the reason one is Sea Games 2017, which Malaysia, this country Malaysia has been the champion uh, overall. Other than that, the, uh, the Bukit Jalil Stadium also hosted football tournament such as the final of the AFF Suzuki, Suzuki Cup 2010 which we all know Malaysia beat Indonesia 3 video and that is one of the greatest memory at that other than that uh, also hosted various of football tournament like I said AFF Suzuki Cup which take place at the final which take place at the final and semi-final 2014 and final 2018 other than that there are a lot of great club as I didn't say big club I said great club like such as Liverpool Manchester United Chelsea Arsenal uh, they came to Malaysia to play at the Bukit Jalil Stadium for, exa for example I can, I can say when Manchester United came to Malaysia 2009, 2009 uh, they have a Manchester United tour for the pre-season game and they play against our country for a friendly game but unfortunately we lost at 3-2 and uh, other, other than that also we face the, the recent uh, Premier League winner Liverpool, we faced them and we also we been beat by them 6-3 on 2011. Following the semi, uh, following the 2013, we against Barcelona, FC Barcelona, one of the greatest team in the world. They came to Malaysia to play at the Bukit Jalil Stadium and they beat us again 3-1. Uh, and then uh, against Tottenham, against Chelsea, Manchester City, Arsenal, uh, uh, they they came to the stadium to play against us for a friendly game, and that is one of the greatest achievement because we can serve them our facility, facility, and they can know our culture, how our, our culture play, how our fans, how our how, how the atmosphere of football in Malaysia. So, yeah, I think that is uh, one of the best formation that I ever did. So, I think that is, that is. So, I ended this video with Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh and bye. Hi everyone, as we can see on the slide, the significance of the stadium are the management provide track and fields for the public with free admission on public holidays only. On 17 August 2019, Youth and Sport Minister Sheikh Sadiq Sheikh Abdul Rahman today expressed the hope that state governments and local authorities with sport facilities will make them available to the public. The main the main reason is to give the public free admission to the track at the Bukit Jalil National Stadium every Saturday and Sunday from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. beginning today with the aim of enabling people to experience the feel of running at the main sporting venue in the country. Also, 
available for free use are the other facilities around the stadium comprising the futsal pitch, basketball court, gymnasium, skate park, dance tracks and cycling facilities which have been opened to the public earlier. This can make Malaysian people become more healthy and sporty. Also, can be a can be the attractive place for tourists to experience the field and training by using the real tracks. Other than that, Malaysian can strengthen the unity, unity of the community of Malay, Chinese and India. We can make a lot of friends by spending our pleasure time on sport activities. That's all from me. Thank you. Stay safe. Okay, so let's we look into this slide which is the activities. There are various activities that can be held in this stadium, National Bukit Jalil, such as concert. For example, of concert that already had is edition concert that is held in 2019. For the second one is football event. For example, of football event that already had is F Suzuki Cup, which is Malaysian versus Laos that be held in 12 November 2000. 18. For the last one is premier event, for example of premier event which is world premier event specialist for Datuk Lee Chang Wei that be held in 2018. So there are various activities that can be held in the Stadium National Bukit Jalil. That's it. Okay now we are the last slide which is the summary. It is very late with why we are choosing the Stadium National Bukit Jalil as a research for our presentation. Let me show you the point. Firstly, the Stadium National Bukit Jalil is bigger than other stadium. It is very unique with the structure and also the development. Plus, it is very special than other stadium. For example, is the stadium is the ninth largest football stadium in this world. It was built by the United Engineer Malaysia PhD. It is designed by the architect FAA. For the second point is, there are various countries are involved in the match that make the stadium as a host and also a place to compete. For example, of the big club that have been involved is Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool FC and also the Manchester United. For the big club that have been organized in the stadium it are 2017 Asian oh, sorry 2017 Southeast Asian Games and also the 2009 Asian Para Games. For the for the last point is there are various activities that can be held in the stadium Bukit Jalil. For example, is concert, football event, and also the and also the premier event. So this is all point that I can conclude from the presentation. That's it. I hope you will enjoy with our presentation and thank you for lending your ear and thank you so much. That's it. Assalamualaikum.